Okay, today we're talking about demos. Uh, these are the five things that I want to recommend to you uh, as key tools in your arsenal for making a great demo. I use these things every day. Um, these are just five of them. Hopefully it'll get you started. So come on, check it out. Actually, yeah, come over here. All right. Go right there. So, the first thing I want to tell you about is uh, a plugin by Neural DSP. I'm a guitar player. I do a lot of rock and country. I do pop too, but a lot of times I'm doing country music, so I need a great guitar plugin. And uh, this plugin, the Pliny by Neural DSP, is unbelievable. Like, I'll show you what it looks like here. got my Pelini loaded here. I just played a couple quick things. Nothing special. Here is uh, one tone I like. This is kind of what the amp looks like. Uh, there's three different amps. Um, this one, this one, and this one. This is the highest gain, lowest, lowest gain. Um, yeah, so I just made a little country tone here. This is something that usually works with most of my country recordings. <laughs> pedal, compressor, a little slap delay, it's a pretty basic little pedal board but it's, it's pretty amazing, quite effective actually. Alright, so the next one I'll do is kind of something completely different if you're doing more of like a pop thing, like some Bieber chords. This one is kind of the same amp, but it's got some different delay, different reverbs plugged in there. Compressor. It's so easy, honestly. It's it gets a couple, a couple little clicks, and the presets are so good. There's um, quite a few different little presets and stuff in here, so really easy. Um, and if you're doing something crazy heavy, you can always go to the other Neural DSP plugin I love, which is the Nolly. Um, this setting is called Juicy Chug. I just randomly picked one of the one of the presets and sounds something like this. Some really great a uh, little more options on the pedal side of things. Um, yeah it models after some some pretty high end pedals and it's very cool. It works really well, especially layering it. There's there's like four different amps, I think. This one, this one, this one. And this little guy. A bunch of different cabinets you can pick that match or mix and match. So, very cool. Good work, Neural DSP. Number two is the Slate Digital Virtual Mix Rack. Really, get the whole Slate Bundle. It's amazing. The Slate Bundle is it's just 10 out of 10. You get everything you could possibly need. Everything from effects, mic modeling, instruments, it's just, it's truly all in one. If I had to pick one thing to recommend, I would say get the Slate Bundle. Uh, so I'll, ch I'll show you here some of the things that you can do on it in the Virtual Mix Rack. I just sang something really quick, but uh, we'll pull it up, I'll show you what it sounds like dry, and then I'll slap a bunch of stuff on it, and you can see what it sounds like a little bit closer to process, something that might be more convincing for your demo. You know, here's, here's an example of what it looks like. I just pulled it up here. Um, you can, if you have the, the hardware, the mic, you can do mic emulation. There's uh, preamps, there's EQ compressors, some specialty kind of compressors. What else do they got in here? Some mastering stuff, some harmonic. There's all these different uh, things you can grab and pull up. Different styles of EQs and it's it's pretty great. So I just sang something real quick to show you. Here's what it sounds like 
with no plugins on. Baby. Oh, shoot, I got some effects going on. Baby, I've been thinking about it lately. I've been thinking about roots down at the end of an older road. So pretty plain, that's just me straight in, one take of uh, a verse of this song that I have called Let's Go There. And here it is uh, with some quick stuff I just tossed on there, some EQ, some compression, some saturation type things. So check it out, that's what it sounds like with the virtual mix rack on. Baby, I've been thinking about it lately. I've been thinking about roots down at the end of an older road. Bypassed. Baby, I've been thinking about it lately. On. I've been thinking about roots down at the end of an older road. So big difference, and it's all very subtle things. You know, you still got to use your ears. You still got to come up with what you want it to sound like in your brain. But there are some amazing presets, like just at the EQ here, I'll show you, like, you know, depending on what you're you're trying to mix, it doesn't have to be vocals. There's stuff about drums, acoustic guitars, and all this stuff. Um, so it's super useful. You can get your vocal into a really great spot very quickly. So definitely check out the Slate Bundle. Um, like I said, it comes with so much stuff beyond the virtual mix rack, but I'm trying to keep this as a sort of succinct little <laughs> plug-in vlog. So virtual mix rack. Okay, number three is uh, Soothe by Oak Sound. So Soothe is kind of this like multi-band harmonic suppressor thing. I don't exactly know what it does, but it does magic. Um, so essentially it'll analyze whatever your frequency is, whatever your signal is, and it, all the harsh frequencies that are in there that might poke out or build up, it just kind of pulls down a little bit uh, and it doesn't cut them. It's it's reactive, so it's, it's really cool. So um, on that vocal I just sang, I'll show you kind of what it's doing. It's so, so subtle, but it makes a big difference in the end. You can put it on your master bus, um, you can put it on vocals, you can put it on your group channels, and it really does help, especially, you know, somebody that might not be experienced in EQing things at an advanced level. It, it really helps just kind of get it there and not sound so harsh. So here's what it looks like. Okay, so I think my screen is still recording. So here's that vocal I had. I've been thinking about roots down at the end of an older road. Let me pull up Sue, then I'll show you what Sue's gonna do. So right now I just have it on the factory default setting. I've been thinking about roots down at the end of an older road. And it's finding little spots that are pokey and it's just pulling them down just a little bit. And you know, when you go hard, you can start to hear it a little bit. I've been thinking about roots down at the end of an older road. I've been thinking about roots down at the end of an older road. So when you go to the hard setting, that kind of, if your vocal wasn't recorded super well, like I'm just in my basement right now, so like there's bad room and this is, it's working pretty well, about 50% on hard. I've been thinking about roots down at the end of an older road. And here it is bypassed. Uh, you might not be able to hear it all that well, but it, it is very subtle, but trust me, this is something you're gonna want in the end. After you have a million tracks and you're putting it on your master bus, it helps I've been so thinking much. about roots down at the end of an older road. It just helps. Uh, it helps the presence come up um, a little bit without sounding like I have a lot of natural high mid things that seem to poke out on different I've been notes. About, I've been thinking about roots down at the end of an down at the end of an down at the end of down at the end of an older road. So really, it does exactly what the title of the plugin is. It just soothes it. So for me, that made it a lot smoother. Um, and yeah, once you get used to hearing these subtleties, it becomes a lot more apparent. So Soothe is definitely one you want to check out to put that extra little sheen on your thing. Music stuff. All right, number four uh, of my must-have plugins if you want to make a better demo list is going to be something that is kind of one of my desert island plugins. This is Sound Toys Echo Boy. Uh, this is my go-to delay for everything and I feel like, you know, if you're a new demo producer, you're going to want to have at least some effects on your vocals or some of your instruments and you can get anything you want to with Echo Boy. Like it doesn't have to be like your standard delay. There's some doubling effects that are in Echo Boy. There's some almost reverb sounding effects that are in Echo Boy. So yeah, let's check this out here. Um, so got that vocal going on again here. I've just put Echo Boy on an effect send and I'm making it really subtle right now. Baby, 
I've been thinking about it lately. I've been thinking about roots down at the end of an older road. So pretty great. I'm going to um, send a little more to Echo Boy so you can hear what it's doing. And let's open it up and I'll show you a couple of the settings. Baby. 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 So that's obviously insane because it's so loud, but hold on. Baby. Baby. So there's this is the setting I currently have it on. But let's just go to some crazy ones like... Um, Go to vocal and just go through a couple of them here. So there's, let's find that doubler so I can show you. So here's a vocal doubler effect. Baby, I've been thinking about it lately. It's really like a fast slap. But... Baby, baby, I've been thinking. Baby, 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 I've been thinking baby, about it lately. Baby, baby, I've been thinking about it lately. Some saturation. Baby, baby, I've been thinking about it lately. I've been thinking about roots. Some really great. Baby. Ones. There's a great I've one. been thinking about it lately. So widener gives you that sort of micro shift sound, that doubler kind of a sound. Um, let's see if there's some crazy ones here. Baby, I've been thinking about it lately. I've been thinking stuff. about roots down at the end of an older road. Baby, I've been thinking. Some really long ones. Baby, I've been anyway, there's there's just so many cool cool things you can get into here. There's like some some reverb style stuff. Baby. I've been thinking about it lately. It's a great reverb. So it's kind of, you got Echo Boy going on. You might, if you had to choose between Echo Boy and like a whole bunch of reverbs and delays, you could get away with just doing Echo Boy. And it's, they're not crazy expensive. I think Echo Boy is a couple hundred bucks or something like that, but worthwhile investment. Actually the Sound Toy bundle um, is really worth it. There's a lot of great stuff in the Sound Toy bundle and it's, you know, you pay a little bit of money, but honestly, for being a guy that stole plugins for a million years and downloaded it illegally, it felt so good to go legit and get the real bundles from all these different manufacturers. And I just have endless tools and uh, Echo Boy is one that I use on all my vocals and a lot of my guitars and a lot of my effects ends. So check it out, you're gonna want it, trust me. So number five, the last one on the list here is something you're gonna want. Uh, Basically, what this next one does, it's a, it's a finishing tool. You put it on your stereo bus, so your, your output, essentially, your two-track, and this is, I call it bullshit mastering. So you basically, you throw this plugin called Isotope Ozone on, and it's got uh, a feature that actually listens to your song and calculates some of the moves that might need to be done overall. EQ, limiting, maximizing, dynamic EQs, all these great things. So. Um, I'll show you what it does on a demo. I took everything off the stereo bus on this demo that I'm sort of halfway through, and uh, I'll show you what it does. In, in this case, it'll be more subtle, but you know, if you're roughing something in quickly, you're in a writing session, at the end of the day, you want to bounce something down, slap ozone on the master bus, use the master assistant, and it'll get you to, it'll get you an extra 20% on your production factor at the end of the day. Um, so really great for rough mixes, really great for demo mixes before you send them out to your publisher or the artist that you're working with or whatever. So check this out. I wrote, ah shit. So I wrote this tune, it's just a demo I'm working on for a song I wrote with a friend of mine, Katja Gleason and another friend of mine here in town, Pat Cordyback from a thing called Stereos open up the session here. So yeah, I uh, I took all my master bus stuff. Typ typically I'll put, you know, four to five plugins on there, just doing subtle things, subtle moves, but when I'm in a hurry, I'll put Ozone on my master bus, which is, you know, your group that all your channels go to before you export. I know it's never gonna work out And there's a me without you somehow Yeah, last time Myself through this in the mirror, I'm looking at someone else. I'm not gonna hold that hand that holds me down. I've drawn lines in the sand, it's your loss I found. Yeah. I know it's never gonna work.
So my last thing, this is your bonus tip. I know I said five, but I gotta tell you, if we're talking software, I gotta give a shout out to my favorite DAW, Digital Audio Workstation. Cubase 11 is 10 out of 10. I've used all the different DAWs, and they're, you know, they all kind of do the same thing, but for me, I think Cubase just knocks it out of the park. You know, it's, it's native tuning system is, I think it's on par with Melodyne. Uh, there's amazing instruments built in. The editing is so fast and easy. I'm just convinced that no other DAW comes with as high quality native plugins and uh, it's just so easy to learn and there's so many great resources out there. So if you're thinking about jumping into Cubase, um, I would say go for it, give it a test and there's a lot of great resources online. Um, Mixdown Online does a great job, Dom Segalis does a great job, there's so many great resources. So there's my shout out. I'm not sponsored by Cubase or anything, but I'm obsessed with it. So. Anyway, five must-have plugins for making great demos. I hope this helps you guys get started, make some great music, and get some cuts. So I'm gonna probably do another one of these talking about actual physical pieces of gear that you might want. So watch out for that. All right, till next time, bye.